right before I finished it. That's a bummer. Okay. Um, well, there's Mortis. Let's do this. I'm pretty sure she can't move all the way back here without... Yeah. Oh, come on. What does Bone Cage do? I'm assuming it's like an armor. It's pretty brutal. I'm gonna wade through this armor. Oh, I probably can't bleed him. Is acid gonna heal him? That would be a problem. I might do sleeping arm. That sounds kind of great. Yeah, let's do sleeping arm. Thought I had corrupted blade on her. Apparently not. I did. Damn it. Why couldn't I use it? Oh, I probably didn't have enough AP. Yeah, I didn't have enough. Okay. Hopefully that's close enough. Put this right here for some height advantage. Buff you so you can whirlwind. And you'll probably want Farsight. All right, buddy. Three AP to attack. What? That's garbage. I'm going to knock him over. Even though he shouldn't have been able to do anything, he might have had some other skills. So maybe that was a smarter move. Is he busted up for a while, the sleeping arms? I'm not sure. Is Ben missed? Poisoned? No. He's just looking funny. Look at how many dudes are over here. Ooh. Kinda wanna move here and then charge them. Although, it's not gonna do much. Maybe I'll do this. Not enough range, that's a bummer. Oh no, I fucked up. I fucked up bad. I fucked up bad. Damn it. Fly away, little owl dwarf. Nice, thank you for dodging. Ooh, this would be fun. Too bad she doesn't have whirlwind. Do that just in case they try to target her right now. Ew. He just healed. That's a bummer. I think the acid is maybe healing him. Why can't I corrupted blade? Not enough action points, that's why. I should have delayed her turn. That would have been the smarter thing, because then she could have bled him. I th he might be undead. Maybe you can't bleed him. Dang it, everyone's all flying around. Can I make him my team? 
not when he's got armor. Come on! Stop protecting him. Crazy laugh. Nice, another miss. Too bad you're up there. That's annoying. Actually, that is kind of neat. Right next to you. I didn't know I can climb that. Oh, so close. Sure, whatever. Oh, that was an enemy. Why did I think that was been missed? Kill my turret. Nice. All right, no armor anymore. Almost dead. He's healing. Oh, now he's probably super healing. Damn it, don't sleeping on me. Damn it. Oh, annoyings. Okay. Um Will this heal atrophy? I don't think that heals atrophy. That's a bit of a bummer. All right, maybe we'll throw some stuff. He's got magic armor, magic armor everywhere. That one does not have magic armor. Maybe I want to take over that one. All right, I'm going to delay her turn. Yeah, here we go. Take over this guy. Wait a minute, what? Why oh, can't I'm blind? Really? All right, we move as far as we can. Don't miss. Immune to charm, bullshit. and bleeding. That's a bummer. Oh, well. At least he's blinded. <laughs> this guy that summons everything. That'd be crazy to just have a team full of summoners. It'd be an annoying, boring, long... Every fight would be stupid long, but... I'm sure it'd be pretty effective. Got him! Mercy. Mercy. Go totem. The master sorcerer throws up his popped, cracked arms to defend himself as you step forward. Consider mercy, but there's something you need from him first. Near at the quivering screen. How much gold is his life worth? Monsters don't get much. Just strike him down. Need something from you first. Looks quickly over its shoulder. His gaze darting from shadow to shadow. Are you waiting for someone to show up? Of course, 
Anything. Just name it. You need to learn how to channel more source if it helps you. Oh. I want to know all these things. I need to know how to channel more source. Source? I... The skeleton slowly lowers his arms, staring at you in disbelief. Of course. You're Godwoken. You seek power. Ultimate power. <laughs> and I'm worried we could not find common ground. Yes, Godwoken. I, I have to learn this stuff from bad people. Mm. If you swear, you won't banish me to the afterlife. Uh, looks like someone's beat me to it. That's funny. Someone's beating you to it. The flesh is one of the smallest deaths. I have not passed on to the Hall right. of Echoes, nor do I ever intend to. Please, God Woken, let me walk away, and I swear I will show you all I know. What are you afraid of? That, that is not important. Just please tell me, do we have an accord or not? You're not in any position to bargain. Why not? How many others have survived the Magister's witch hunt? Good point. The skull before you curls into a maggot-eating grin. No, yes. you need me. So I teach you and you spare me. Do we have an accord? I want to know about Lohar. It should be fun. Tries to trick you, break every bone he has. Praise be. Very well, Godwoken. Listen carefully. Source and void, day and night, love and hate. One is meaningless without the other. To grow your source, to achieve your potential, you must embrace the void. The grinning skeleton reaches into the folds of his robes and pulls out a small black mass. It's covered in veins and oozing pus. Here, God Woken. Take a bite. What is that? The finest meal you'll find in this cave. The heart of a void woken. Your god stirs, pushing you to eat it. Do not fear, a voice whispers. Do what must be done. Perhaps not the most. I don't want to corrupt myself for the sake of these but stupid you truly want to gods. More source, the skeleton extends his arm, jiggling the heart towards you. A glob of dark yellow pus oh, look, look, look. the bones of his palm and drips to the ground. You're not eating anything hard. Demand you tell me another way. Demand until we're both dust. That's the only answer I have to give. If you don't like it, you can wait until they arrive to take a bite out of you. The decision is yours, God Woken. I'll not wait here for you to make it. I have more questions. Did you in alarm? God's graves, please be quick. Uh, why did you try to kill Lohar? He wanted the death fog destroyed. Once he knew his rats had found it in the peacemaker's wreck, he wanted it destroyed. The greatest weapon Rivalod has ever seen lands in his lap, and he ordered the barrels thrown into the ocean. We couldn't let it happen. We needed it. So I... I took control. How did you control the, the dwarves? The power gifted to me. The power of Morda came. The power to bend the feeble-minded to okay. my will. And so much more. It was a gift from... It was a gift. What has you spooked? I can't. He'll hear. He'll know. He'll find me. He'll come. Yeah, you're going to tell me. I tell you, I die. Or, or worse. Mordus takes a step back, looking about in half-crazed panic. I can't. I, 
I can't. Not now. It's too late. It's all too late. Tell me what I want to know. The dwarf sets his jaw and firmly refuses to speak until you ask him something else. Tell me about the death bog then. Ah, the queen! It's the queen! She saw what death bog did to the black ring. She saw it destroy the elven forest. She said the dwarves needed power like that. And he told me to make sure she got it. He told me to ensure they got to... <laughs> Arcs. The barrels were going to Arcs. Who he I, is. I can't heal here. You yeah, I'll heal you. Tell you. Mordus takes a I can't. I I can't. Not now. It's too late. It's all too late. I'm gonna break his arm. You grab the dwarf's old brittle arm and follow through with your knee. There's a dry snapping sound as the crumbling bone. I kinda feel bad. But also kinda don't. Ah, no! Stop! Stop! I beg you, I'll tell you. You relent. And the dwarf stumbles back, cradling his fractured arm and whimpering. It's, it's him. The one the seven rejected. The god. The dwarf is interrupted by another crack. You see his femur has developed a break. The fracture spreads, shearing the bone in two. Morda stumbles to the ground, oddly silent. He looks up, and you see that his jaw is cracked, broken, and falling to pieces. Fishes are starting to run across his skull, and his ribs start to snap and fall one by one. See, I knew I didn't trust the gods. What were you going to say? Mordus tries to raise his remaining arm to his head, splaying his fingers wide, but the digits are viciously snapped off by some unseen force. You hear the tiniest whimper from the skeleton before his face caves in, as if smashed with an invisible mace, and the body lies still and silent. You stare down at the pile of cracked and broken bones. So much for having him teach you to channel more source. See, I think... Hmm. Something's not right with the god that's in my body. He's... I don't like it. Got a key. Hmm. Something is not right. Oh, hey. Friends want to talk. The thought of death fog gives you pause. A weapon like that should give everyone pause. There are few deserve end like that, but they are few. A weapon of untold destruction? And you use this against your own kind, knowing it ends their existence? How efficient. This scourge, this destroyer of my people should be wiped from the face of the earth. Who wakes up in the morning and thinks, today I'll invent something that'll be able to murder people by the hundreds? Are you talking about Mortis just now? Because we already finished that. Okay, so we didn't get another source point because I didn't take a bite of that heart. I don't know if I was really supposed to or what we're, we're getting by. I shouldn't say this, but we're getting by so far without having to damn it without using our our source points. And I hope maybe I can continue that way because then it doesn't make the me needing more source seems so volatile, you know what I mean? Or seems so necessary, rather. I didn't want to pick that up.
Holy crap. This person had a lot of stuff on him. 